Hi DMC family, today's Friday the 3rd of April, we have arrived at the 17th day of MCO. From our social concerns reports of people in need, it breaks my heart to hear of babies, children and the elderly. Let me read to you some examples of the reports submitted to me. Case 181, foreign worker with his wife exhausted all their savings and have been surviving with only porridge. Case 182, a family of five with a 10-month-old baby have only Maggi noodles left in their house. And case 194, a Muslim family with food supply of rice and Maggi noodles running low with enough for only two days. And the list goes on and on. You know, one of the main concerns now, apart from the health threat of the COVID-19 pandemic, is also the economic fallout during this MCO and thereafter in the next six months. Please pray that our government, industry leaders, business owners, and the day-to-day -day worker will be able to make a turnaround of the worsening economy so that there will still be job security for our daily sustenance. It is a worldwide problem and there seems to be a recalibration of things that we are so used to. May our eyes be turned constantly to God. And following our Bible reading plan, the recent one was relevant to something that we are doing in our community outreach. When we as a church reach out to many out there with no strings attached, with no need for any recognition, with no concern for any return of any favour, it expresses the heart of God looking at the world. There's nothing deserving about who we are in the first place as we are all subject to the wrath of God because of our sins. But we are saved by grace through faith in Christ. And the word grace simply means unmerited favour or as defined by someone as God's favour toward the unworthy or God's benevolence on the undeserving. And this is shown clearly in the following two verses. Romans chapter 5, verse 8 says, But God demonstrated His own love for us in this, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And 1 John 4, 10 says, This is love, not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Now, Jesus shared an insight about how we need to reciprocate to God and people in Luke chapter 14, verse 12 to 24. Then Jesus said to his host, When you give a luncheon or dinner, do not invite your friends, your brothers or sisters, your relatives or your rich neighbours. If you do, they may invite you back and so you will be repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed. Although they cannot repay you, you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. Now, Jesus is not saying that we do not entertain our relatives and friends. He's encouraging us to guard our motives. We live in a society that often says there ain't no free lunch, meaning behind every so-called kind deed is a lack of sincere motive to help someone with no strings attached. There's always an expectation of a payback. And Jesus sets forth a challenge to his host. He said, when you invite the outcasts of society who have no means to pay you back for your generosity, it would show that you are ministering to them for the Lord's sake and not your own. It would also help us guard against our own need for self-glory when we do it quietly without an entourage of reporters or public relations people to showcase our generosity. Jesus then said, you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. Well, you see, Jesus is teaching us that we do not do good to become a better person, but rather we do good because we are a better person in response to what God had done in my life. You see, I was undeserving and sinful, yet I received the grace and mercy of God. So when we serve the poor, who have no means of returning our kindness, we purge ourselves of self-glory and pride. And so my encouragement to those who are quietly reaching out to hundreds of people during this MCO, the Lord's commendation is upon you. And with this verse, I want to encourage you to continue to be a blessing echoed by our tagline, Love God, Serve People, and may I add, with no strings attached. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10 says, God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown Him as you have helped His people and continue to help them. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for the reminder that you love us while we were still sinners. Thank you that you reached out to me. We are also reminded that there are many out there in need. Rather than focusing on our inconveniences and discomforts, while we still have a roof over our heads and daily food to eat, may our hearts be turned towards those who have none. Speak to us, Lord, what we can do, or at the very least, to pray. 
We uphold our two members still in the hospital that your presence will continue to be experienced by them in a real and tangible way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So God bless you and have a good night. Thank you.